Now let's find out more on the latest developments surrounding the accident straight from Budapest. And for that, foreign affairs correspondent at Euronews, Zoltan Shiboshegi, now joins us live by the Danube River. Thank you for joining us once again. Good evening from Hungary. It's nearing two days since the tourist boat capsized in the Danube, but rescue teams are still looking for the 21 missing passengers along the stretch of the river. Uh, what are you hearing about the rescue efforts there? Our foreign minister, Peter Siarto, uh, personally correcting uh, all the missions in the rescue efforts here in Budapest. And yesterday, finally, he could meet with the foreign affairs minister of uh, South Korea also. And uh, our minister promised that the anti-terror center uh, will pay attention really closely in this case and also help. This is the most well-equipped organization, uh, police organization in Hungary. But still, the foreign minister, uh, Peter Siarto, told that uh, we need at least weeks uh, to take the ground, uh, the wreckages of the ship. The reason is because we don't have uh, deep rivers, oceans, uh, seas, so our diver crews are uh, not well equipped and not used to a situation like this. And uh, that's why we were really happy that South Korea sent divers to Budapest also. Now, the Hungarian police have expanded the probe into a criminal investigation, and the captain of the larger cruise ship that collided with the tourist boat has been arrested. What do we know so far about the investigation? Actually, the biggest development that now it's a criminal in investigation, not just an investigation. Uh, the captain of the big hotel boat is an Ukrainian man, uh, but we can't know more about him, just that he refuses uh, all, the, uh, all the stuff what we've ever told. Uh, and every, and the other thing is that um, also a Hungarian newspaper uh, could interview some captains, and they told that the mermaid, uh, was the ship was suffered the accident with the tourists, uh, the captain of the mermaid was one of the well-trained and uh, most experienced captain in Hungary. So in the CCTV uh, records, we can see that the huge hotel boat crashed behind in the small boat. But the only one thing what is not clear yet, that why uh, the mermaid started to turn around in the last second. So now it's not obvious that whose fault, whose error was it. The only thing that is sure that it was a human error. Now, how are the people of Hungary or the Hungarian government responding to this? Has the accident raised a red flag on the safety of cruise boat operations there? Of course, all the Hungarians are shocked. Uh, you know, I mentioned yesterday also, that this boat sinked in seven seconds. It's something what nobody could imagine before. Uh, there are several hundreds of boats cruising here in the Danube. Also, I need to add that, for example, the Viking boat uh, who occurred this accident already left from Budapest. So now he's in Esztergom in north of Budapest, no, north of Hungary, sorry. So he continued the way of him. So also the government for sure, uh, they will make really strict laws, like two years before, after the bus accident with a lot of Hungarian students. There is no exact uh, moves, but we are sure that there will be some changes in this case also, because everybody told after the accident that actually the traffic, the night traffic on the Danube was life-threateningly uh, difficult and also dangerous. Well, it's horrifying and heartbreaking just to imagine the moment of the accident. Let's hope that rescue efforts speed up and go as smoothly as possible. Zoltan Shibashegi from Budapest for us. Thank you. Thank you.